in this lesson we are going to talk about full wave rectifier okay earlier we had looked at what a half wave rectifier looks like and how it operates okay we realized that a half wave rectifier is basically working during only positive half cycle okay so it was providing me output during only one half of the cycle and the other half is not utilized okay this is something that we do not want therefore its efficiency was very low we had seen that rectification efficiency for my half wave rectifier was coming out to be around 40.6% i guess right just around 40 41% efficiency you were getting and your ripple content in a half wave rectifier was very high okay it was around 121% okay so to overcome these disadvantages of a half wave rectifier we utilize a full wave rectifier okay so your full wave rectifier basically gives you an output which is something like this let's just say this is my full wave rectifier we are going to look at two configurations of a full wave rectifier we are going to look at what is a center tapped full wave rectifier and what is a bridge full wave rectifier but before that let's just understand what is the output that is given by a full wave rectifier okay so if you have an input ac coming in let's just suppose that ac looks like this sinusoidal ac then what you're going to receive as output is a wave which is going to be like this okay so during positive half cycle you get the same output as input and during negative half cycle you get your inverted input as output okay so you invert this and you are going to get this okay so your full wave rectifier has an output that basically looks like this okay obviously what i have drawn is a very rough sketch but you know this is all these half sine waves are similar okay it is basically your this portion of your input that you are getting as your repeated output okay over here as you can see your frequency of your output has basically doubled okay this is your frequency or your wavelength over here okay and at the output your wavelength is this much which is half of this okay so your wavelength is halved and your frequency of your output waveform has doubled as compared to your frequency of your input waveform okay if i have to draw it nicely then what i can do is something like this this is my input voltage okay and this is my output voltage okay so obviously this is repeating and this is repeating as well okay this is your v in over here and this is your v out over here you can define your v out as same as v in between theta ranging from 0 to pi okay so between theta ranging from 0 to pi your v out and v in are same and between theta ranging from pi to 2 pi your v out is negative of your v in okay so between theta ranging from pi to 2 pi your v out is minus of v1 okay so from pi to 2 pi your v out is minus v in okay so in this way you can define your output waveform for a full wave rectifier okay now if i assume my v in to be v n sin omega t then i have my equations for my v out okay it is equal to v m sin omega t from 0 to pi and minus v m sin omega t from pi to 2 pi okay since i have the equations i can calculate what is rms and average value for my full wave rectified output okay either you can just solve using your regular 